Hello everyone, welcome back. We have another game and we are as close as ever to our 2500 barrier. Let's go with f3, the principal move against uh, the Grunfeld or King's Indian. And uh, he's already thinking Ice Lemon Tea from China. What an interesting username. Anonymous. Whoops. No, I do not want to resign. I wanted to just exit the, his profile. Okay, c5. Mm, let's go d5. Okay, now we can get e6, we can get d6. So we're transposing to one of the main lines. Do I go knight e c3 in this position? I think I do. Not sure though. We'll find out. This is supposed to be the main challenge for black and now I go bishop g5 and if h6 bishop e3. But uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with this kind of maneuver in this particular position so I'll just continue developing and yeah, he wants b5 I won't let it so happen so easily and I can get it I don't think it's a threat just yet so I can castle if bishop d7 knight a3 will continue to prevent his b5 idea maybe queen d2 was more precise to also prevent h6 I don't know Okay, doesn't threat b5 just yet. Let's go queen d2. Seems like the most principled way. Now he wants b5, so I'm preventing it. And this is the typical position you get when black is not being the most active. As active as possible. But, yeah, don't think it's necessarily bad. Okay, I really want to sacrifice this pawn. And then try to play for initiative but uh, yeah you won't get much other than getting his queen for some pieces but again this is the plan I don't want to go b3 so but it's in his only idea so maybe I shouldn't let it slide like this okay b5 is an idea or not Takes, 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 takes. He has to sack an exchange if he takes everything. So, bishop a4 is probably the principal approach. Either way, I'm going to take it. I'm not going to give uh, up a pawn so easily. And then knight b5 is the point where he has to give up the queen. Um, play a takes b5, for example. You'll get enough material for the queen. That's what I'm afraid of. I don't think... Maybe I can trap the a4 pawn, actually. So... But I'm not very convinced I should have allowed it. It's very possible I should have just played b3 and follow with solid moves. Since he has less space. Okay, so he's giving up his queen after a long thought. No, he's not. What is he giving up? What? It doesn't make any sense. Giving up this knight for nothing. Maybe he missed something. He was hoping to trap it. I don't know. But a6 is attacked so many times. He has to go e5 and the knight can always find safety in b5, the b5 square. So Black yeah, he resigned and we are as close as ever to 2500. Our rating is 2496. Uh, it's, I'm amazed I'm excited by this number after all this time because again as I mentioned before I was about 2750 uh, in my peak and uh, I managed to remain above 2700 for a long time so yeah I don't know something must be wrong with me when I'm talking while playing so I'm not sure if it's the same for anyone so far I've played the logical moves in the game uh, a4 looks like the way to prevent his counterplay and here the most educated way to play might be just to protect it oh, nice c2 actually looks interesting 
Rook fb1. Computer likes it. Yeah, now if he sacrifices the queen like he probably should, it taken rook a1. Yeah, 1.5 for white. Might be, yeah, might be good enough, I guess. Well, so probably the game went well for me. And the sacrifice that he made, I'm guessing he just blundered, the, overlooked the knight on c7 is hanging. Can even take it immediately actually, which I, I didn't notice. But this is just lost for black. Okay, I hope you learned something from this game and uh, enjoyed watching uh, me playing uh, despite uh, how short it was. And uh, if you want to learn some more, then uh, keep watching the next videos.